Alrighty, welcome everyone. I'm Tia. We're here for Hero Walk uh, 60. Last time was 59 and they cliffhanged us on who, who made it through the exam and I'm just like, I need to know right now. So I'm playing 59. There'll be a countdown timer. It'll go boop, 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 beep. And on the beep and the green light, that's when you want to push the button. If you're pushing the button, play along. Timer goes here. Tell me. Tell me. Obviously, that could pass. Obviously. But, but Todoroki. But Todoroki. But Todoroki. Nice. Also, we didn't start with the OP. We start with this. Because they knew they cliffhanged us. Thank you. But did Todoroki pass? Is the big question. This song is growing on me. Really is. We're building up to Todoroki though. Little strokes for Great Oaks. <sighs> he didn't make it. What about Todoroki? He didn't make it. Yep. Damn. Bummer. Yep. Now you apologize too. Exactly what he means. That's oddly deep for him.
Right. Babby heroes. Hi. Second one was to figure out who was ready. Who was already ready and who needed to, to grow. That's smart. Shut up, Mineta. Sweet. What are those briefcases? Are they their costumes? Hmm. So everything you buried... <laughs> He's trying. Yeah, he's a real homie in the heart. A heart homie. It's cuz it's Toga. Bullshit. It's because she has been different from usual. Ooh, it's melting. I knew it. I knew it. That scratch. Oh, can they do genetic analysis and find out that... Okay, it is blood-related if she ingests some blood. <laughs> All Might's visiting him? Oh. 
Holy crap. What's this conversation going to be about? Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Ooh, that's a great shot. His eyes superimposed over all, all for one's lack of eyes, and all for one is the one smiling. The scenario I wrote. Wow. And that's all he wants.
Has he expanded? It won't happen. I am an ideal. Indeed it has. That's the episode title. Kachan's gotten a bit more brolic. She's buffed up a little bit. He doesn't want to talk. He wants to fight. Oh, that callback. Plus, he get the most powerful quirk in existence just because where we first fought back here. Yeah, let him say his peace. I could go as smart. This 
Spock would think he stole it. gonna have to but now Preview. What an episode. Holy crap. So much in there. <sighs> the end of the, the provisional license exam arc. Bakugo and Todoroki don't, don't make it. Deku does. And that's the spark for this, for this conflict. Then there's this whole, this interlude. This intermission, if you will. But it's extremely tense between All Might and All for One. And there wasn't, there wasn't a ton of substance to it, really. It was... It mostly boiled down to all for one being like, Mwahaha, my plans will come to fruition. And all night being like, nope. <laughs> and then all for one going, Mwahaha, you don't even understand, bro. And almost like, yeah, but neither do you. <laughs> and then all for one has the last giggle. There were some really good shots in that scene. The shot with the reflection where you can't really tell which, which you're looking at completely. Um, but it's All for One's face with All Might's eyes superimposed over it. And you can see All for One's grin behind it. So it's, it, it's like a weird amalgamation of their two faces. It's pretty cool. But then the setup. As we lead into the final three episodes. Three episodes, though. I mean, this fight can't go for three episodes, can it? Can it? Can it? If it can... <laughs> that would be a dope. 
mean, because they can intersperse flashbacks and like and history into it. Maybe they'll blue ball us for an episode. <laughs> In terms of threads this season that need to be wrapped up, Ida has some stuff that needs to be wrapped up, I think. But maybe he's at a good places right now. Uraraka's uh, caring about Deku definitely needs to be wrapped up. We need to figure out where Shigaraki is and what he's doing, but maybe we just leave that be at, until... The last episode as sort of a cliffhang lead into the next season. And then this this Bakugo Deku thing just needs to be resolved somehow. And it doesn't have to be a complete resolution. Just a fight. Hmm. So let's let's think about this fight. This upcoming fight. I feel like the the temptation as an author is to leave this without a clear victor. Like they both end up giving their all and eventually passing out or something. Or being stopped by some reason. But because we've been building to this for so long, it would be nice to have some catharsis and like an actual victor in this fight and have Deku genuinely surpass Bakugo. That would be really nice. But it would also be a difficult thing to do as an author because that that then you end up devaluing their future conflict. Because this is sort of a point where if one of them wins, you could say like the other becomes a bit less and and when I say if one of them wins, I mean if Deku wins. Because I don't think there's any scenario where Bakugo wins this fight. Um, just in, in terms of storyline, this is a, a point where either it's a draw, either because they, they are equally matched, or because um, something else comes and stops this fight, which is quite possible. Either it's a draw, and then you get to retain this whole conflict, if you want to, or Deku wins and Bakugo is forced to respect him a little bit. I don't see a way that Bakugo wins. Not, not in terms of, like, which one's stronger, but in terms of main character and, and deuteragonist. Like, oldest friend slash greatest rival either you keep the rivalry going or you put the rivalry to bed with the protagonist finally overcoming his greatest rival but if you have him overcome his greatest rival then like you are tossing one of the huge plot elements and big draws for your series so that's really difficult to do I feel like I feel like the temptation to end it in a draw is going to be really strong. It's going to give us some incredible sakuga for sure. Um not that the rest of the season has been short on sakuga, but it's been it's been holding back in a similar way that the tournament arc was was holding back a little bit, which makes me think that it's saving up, literally saving up budget. Because that's that's how these things work. Literally saving up budget and animation time for a blowout of a fight. Which is good. Really good. Alright, I'm pumped. I'm gonna I'm gonna finish the season tonight. Um it's 845 right now. I've just decided that I'm gonna finish the season tonight, and that's gonna be that. So there will be a whole lot of Hirawaka coming at you real fast. I, I think y'all will enjoy that. I hope y'all will enjoy that. I won't be able to, to early access a fight or anything, so... If you like me binging things, 
Want me to keep doing it? Support me on Patreon anyway. Please. I love you. I really do. It's kind of it's kind of amazing that so many of you have already pledged your support. It just, it just blows my mind. And it's it's kind of funny. Each each time I do something that should logically should logically lead to less interest in supporting me on Patreon, you know, because there, there's something about it, like withholding content, putting it behind a paywall, it's not something that feels super good to me. I'm okay with it for early access to certain things. I'm okay with it. But when it comes to, to things like this, where I end up just binging the whole show, it's sort of strange and paradoxical, but it feels, and maybe I'm just making this up and it has nothing to do with it, but it feels like when I do things that should hurt my Patreon's ability to grow, like release a bunch of stuff for free. I get a couple notifications like, you've gained a patron, you've gained a patron. <laughs> now that's, that's not the reason that I'm releasing this stuff for free. I'm doing it because it feels right. But it brings me back to something I've talked about in a, in a couple of previous reactions. If you give wholly of yourself, the world provides. If you give of yourself without fear that you will be left with nothing, you gain everything. It's deep truth. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it karma. You can call it the will of the universe but it's not like that it's a human thing it's a human thing it's something it's something about respect and gratitude i don't know i don't know But that's what I'm going to keep doing, is I'm going to keep giving wholly of myself, and hopefully it works out. I think it will. I've got this feeling. I've got this feeling, and I started getting this feeling once I was a couple weeks in, and, and the subscriber count kept growing and kept growing and kept growing. I've got this feeling like, hmm. This is right. This is right. As long as I can hold on to that and keep doing what feels right, this will work. Yeah. All right, well, that was quite an aside. I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go make up some eggs and uh, inhale them really quickly, and then I'll be back for episodes 61, 62, and 63 to finish the season. So, I've been Tiabu, this has been Hirowaka60, I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I have, and as always, I do hope to catch you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>